M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to show you this new co-plug editor that I found. I found it at farnsworth.org and I, I believe it's named after the creator and it's called Edit CP 1.0.31 Installer and I think it's really good. And we've got it running here, so just click the installer and run this. Uh, connect your USB cable to the radio and it will show up here under, under Universal Serial Bus just double click STM device play and you'll see there so connect in the normal way and I'm just going to show you we'll just quickly read the radio so we go radio read code plug select your radio you've got a drop down list there I'm on the MD380 70 centimeter model click OK and then it will just read it does open a new window when it reads but it sort of saves everything as well so that's great all saved there now my version is actually running um, this KD4 toolkit here 4 point yeah, and it's it's very it's it's nearly as good as the TYT tools that we that we use with this system here but it's actually got some more advanced functions they've sort of taken all the good bits and put them into this KD4 kit now the reason I've never installed that toolkit before is because it was very I found the instructions very complicated to install um, if you look here at these these kind of windows but the good thing about this program that we have found by Farnsworth is that it does it all for you so if you go like so and we just showed you that we've read the radio if we want we can go radio uh, md380 tools choose write kd4z like so there it is there follow instructions cable connected hold down the ptt and the button above turn on the radio it's in firmware mode click update firmware and it just does it and it works straight away now I will say that before you do that you do need to save your copula but hey no problem because all you do is get the radio before you do this click radio read code plug like I just did save it somewhere so go file file save as somewhere like so save the code plug there's mine there and then when you after you've done the installation uh, which I just showed you how to do, you will then be able to do, to do the firmware. And this, this, the other good thing about this firmware is it also will restore your radio back to factory. And that's very unusual to just have a one-click process. But look, right MD380 factory firmware, 390, RT3 and RT8. So thanks for watching my channel. I'm going to see if I can tag on the end of this a demonstration of the KD4Z toolkit. Uh, but the MD381 is still very good and you can also use this same firmware to actually write the latest database. Look at this. Radio, write code plug, factory firmware and look, user database, MD380 tools, MD2017 and UV. And it will hold the whole database even on an old MD380 or MD380 UV model. That's excellent. And I've just done this and it's working great. And what I like about it is all the different colours and screen it, it will these this firmware will make your radio usable manual dial you can change color codes slots the screen color the power the mic gain you name it everything's there you get the functionality of a modern radio in a very old radio and i really rate the rt3 md380 type radios i think they're excellent so bye for now thanks for watching my channel catch you on air 73 all the best all the links will be in the description